going to be showing you how to make pies in a jar. So what you'll need is a jar, pie filling of your choice, and some pie shells. Now let's get started. So our first step is we need to fill our jar with the pie crust. Now, in order to do this, you make, need to make sure that you have a jar that does not go in. It's one of the ones that stays um, out. So I have my jar, and then I'm going to take my pie crust out. And you can use whatever brand of pie crust you like. I just grabbed the Nodian brands because they were cheaper. So you have your pie, and you're going to take it out. And it doesn't really matter if it crumbles because you're going to be putting it in little pieces anyway. So, take my pie out. There we go. So the first step is you need to make a top. So you're going to take the top of your pie jar and you're going to get a little circle. And pop that out. And so there you have it. Now you're going to proceed to take your pie crust and coat it around the jar. So I'm going to take it and you put it in. And you start pressing it around the edges like so. And so I'm going to continue to do that until my entire pie jar is filled. <laughs> you only want to fill it up just to uh, the little lines right here because uh, everything's going to expand and it will grow. So we have this and our next stop part is we are going to take our filling. Today I'm going to use apple pie filling. Um, this is no name brand but I have used Edie Smith and many other ones and they've all worked great as well to your own personal preference. So we're going to go ahead and open up our jar and one of these will make around three pies. One pie crust will make about two jars and one filling will make about three. So we have our pie filling and you can also do this homemade as well but for me it's just easier to do it this way and I'm making a lot of them. So you take your filling and you fill it and I put for apple around three scoops, maybe three and a half, a couple more in there, three and a half scoops, there you go. And now we need our topper, which is our circle that we made. So what we're going to do is in order to let the air out, you're going to cut two lines, like so, and then you proceed to put the topper on and you just pinch the edges with your pie and then it's going to expand. So there you have it. I'm going to go ahead and make a whole bunch of these and then I'll show you the next all step. Alright, so I've finished doing all of my pie jars and I'm about to put them in the oven. My apple made four jars. My cherry filling made four jars and my blueberry filling made three jars. So it just depends on the filling on how many jars. So I have my jars and they're on a cookie tray because they tend to bubble over. So I put them on a tray that way it won't make a mess in my oven. So you're going to have your oven preheated to 350 degrees and you're going to cook them for 40 minutes. So let's put them in. Decorate the lids. So let's go. Alright, so now we're over at my Cricut and we're going to be decorating the tops of our jars. And so, in order to do that, I'm going to be cutting out some circles 
from the Accent Essentials cartridge on page 32. We're going to be doing the shift button. We're just going to do the blackout circle. And we're going to do it at 2 and 1 quarter inches. So let's move over to my Cricut. So we are going to press our shift lock button. And we are going to load the paper. And I have my blade set at 5, my speed at high, and my pressure at high. And we're going to hit the circle. And it will show up right here in blackout mode. Now, I have this paper on here because I made four cherries, four apple, and three blueberries. So I'm going to do them based on the color. So we're going to start out doing two circles here. And then I'll align return it up here. Then I'll do my blueberry, and then I'll do my apple. So here we go. Press cut. And so I have all my circles here, and we're going to show you how I decorate them. Okay, so I have my four circles for my apple, my three for my cherry, and my three for my blueberry. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I like to decorate the tops. I will be using this stamp set that I've been raving about on all my videos from Inka Dinka Doo. I got it at Michael's and I just love it. I've been using it non-stop. I could use a circle that says joy here. I could use warm holiday wishes, Christmas is on its way, peace. Any of these would work, but I chose to use the one that says Merry Christmas. So I have it on my block. I'm going to take my memento ink. I'm going to ink it up. Make sure it's inked up really well. And then I'm going to simply stamp right on my circle and so there it is Merry Christmas and then what I'm going to do is I have my lids here and so I have my tops and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it zip dry I love this glue it sticks on everything dries really fast and so I'm going to take my zip dry and I will be putting it all around, a little bit in the middle, like so. And then you simply take this, and it fits in just perfectly at two and one quarter inches. And it takes a few seconds, press it down. It's not quite dry, but it's almost there, so. There you go, Merry Christmas. And so I'm going to do that with all of these, and then we'll put them on our jar. Now on my other... I just took my pies out of the oven, and as you can see, like I said, they do expand up in the jar, which is why you only fill them three quarters full. And they're very, very cute. I'm still holding them like this just because they're still hot. So I have my apple and my cherry and my blueberry, and so I'm going to let them cool, and then after I do that, I'm going to show you the finished product. Alright, so now our pies have cooled and we are ready to finish decorating them. So this is a blueberry pie, so I have my Merry Christmas lid for blueberries. So I'm going to take it, put it on top of my jar, and then I will spin on the cap. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my ribbon that I have. I'm going to use this blue one. You can use whatever you like. These are just different miscellaneous ribbons I have lying around. I'm going to take a tag that I've made. Um, I got them from a cardstock and I cut them out. So I'm going to punch my tag. Like so. I'm going to put the ribbon through it. And it's easier for me when I do my ribbon. I just cut it at an angle like so. And then it will go in really, really nicely. So put my ribbon in. There's one and there's the other side and so what I like to do with my ribbon is I like to put it in and it will be really really long to start with but then I will shrink it down so I'll show you how I do that. So I have this one, I'll put my other one in 
and pull that through. So there we go. And then I take it and I wrap it around and then what I do is I pull one piece and I tighten it really tight. And so it's like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a little knot and I can make this even a little bit shorter on one side. I just do this because for me it uh, saves me from having a lot of wasted ribbon. So I'll tie a knot. And when I do my knots, I take it and then as I'm doing it, I twist it so that you get the same on both sides like that. And then I will cut it right here and right here. And there I have my little jars. And like I said, I won't be putting anything on the jar because when you're done, you're going to want to bake it or reheat it in the microwave. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you want to see more crafts like this, visit my blog at www.bluebellcrafts.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.